Yoga guru Janie Lamore is back and this week we're focusing on detoxing the blood. Welcome to you. Thank you. Detoxing the blood through yoga, how's that possible? Well we can because we work on the liver. So we do it through the breath. We're going to cover breath next time mm -hmm. I'm on so that'll be a big thing. But what we do is we work on the liver meridian. The liver meridian is the liver actual organ detoxes the blood. Mm -hmm. Okay that's its job, that's what it has to do and it also makes the bile and then the gallbladder stores the bile mm -hmm. and then we can also do an exercise which encourages the gallbladder to release the bile which breaks down the fats in the body. Mm -hmm. So we detox the blood by working the liver which we'll do in a second and then we also can open and get the gallbladder to release the bile which what that does is if you've had a fatty meal side stretches immediately ah. okay because the gallbladder runs down the sides of the body the liver is a really deep meridian and it's inside the body so we actually need to twist and do lots of twisting type things to get into the actual liver meridian what is a meridian okay meridian is we have 12 major meridians they're medical in western medicine they don't really believe in it because you can't photograph it you can't see it mm. it's an energy field that goes through the body so say for example your large intestine meridian starts here goes up the arm and then into and up into the throat and down through the body and it has an effect on the organ but also on an emotional and a, and a physical and a psychological state of the body so for for your liver, for example, the emotion is anger. So when we get really tight in the sides, we're cranky all the time and we overexpress our anger. And then... So by doing these stretches, this is actually going to help you not be cranky? Help, yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Basically. Well, get, show okay. us some, some of them while we're talking. Okay, so what we're doing is we're coming to... Both feet are off to one side. We want to flex this foot. You can have it tucked under. Now, if you're older or you've got knee pain, what we do is we just have that leg out, mm -hmm. okay, because a little bit of tightness in the hips and the knees makes it impossible to sit like this. Yep. But if we can, we sit like this, toe knee, knee, with interlaced fingers, hands behind the head. Why do we do that? Does that open everything because up? Because we're going to stretch over and we need to yep. open up through the whole side here. So what we do, big breath in, breathing's important, through the nose, and then we exhale through the mouth and we hold it and we stretch the elbow to the ceiling and this knee has to stay down because if the knee lifts then we lose the stretch mm -hmm. in the side. So we come all the way down and breathe in and the difference with this yoga and other yoga is we actually move and breathe to get the energy moving through the meridian channels. So what we'd do is we'd go like so mm -hmm. okay so this is the gallbladder meridian which runs down the side of the body so yep. side stretch is really good for if you're trying to lose weight and if you're if you've just eaten a fatty meal okay then when we get into the liver we've got thousands of different ones for every meridian but this is the one that we're doing today so we want to keep this bottom down and we twist away from this foot that's behind us mm -hmm. keeping the elbows back and looking as far around behind you as you can and then come back to the center and they're again they're simple aren't they they're very simple so we, but we don't want to do this as well so yep. we don't twist from the hip we twist from the waist so we get all and of this area going how often should we be doing this if you're trying to make a difference if you're actually working on addressing a health problem say you're trying to lose weight you should do it at least twice a day mm -hmm. what we do is we do 10 going down and then hold the last one and really stretch up and then you do the same you do 10 and then oh. hold the last one and stretch right around and then you do that in the morning and then you do that again before you go to bed. And if you really want to, three times a week, uh, three times a day, <laughs> three times every day. A, all right. Yeah. Janie, thank you. Thank you. Always a delight to have you. And of course, you can get all the details on our Mind, Body, Spirit fact sheet. Log on to the website. Mark Gable sings his hit shortly.